do you want to know? Well, I've been thinking about you. And I think I have to listen. Because... The sun is up, it's a beautiful day. My beginning will be as bright as the sun. Come, won't you come along? And it feels so bright, it's like luck is raining on me. Go and follow your heart, doesn't matter how far. Hey guys, welcome so back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing kind of like an unboxing slash review of Ipsy. If you haven't heard of Ipsy, it's basically a monthly subscription that can, you can get like makeup or like some skin related things. And they do have a three-step program. Basically, it's $12 a month for the small, I think $24 for the plus, and I think a little bit over $30 for the premium. So depending what you get, you either get small travel size things or you could get full size items. They come in this little bag and each, no matter which subscription you get, you get a makeup bag with it. So I just wanted to show you guys um, what I got, what products that they gave me, and is it worth the $12? Um, it is a fairly cheap monthly subscription that I'm aware of. Most of them are like about 20-ish or more dollars monthly. And some people even do like seasonals, kind of like fat fit fun. Um, they do seasonal boxes that are like about $50 for each season or a hundred and something for all four seasons. So this is something that I found that was like fairly cheap. Um, they do always ask you questions, what colors you like, what products you always prefer, things like that. So let's get into it and let me show you what goodies they came with. This is the makeup bag that I received, which is a dark green with a lime green um, zipper. So it is very cute and very small. This is really good maybe if you have like travel size items to take with you. Um, like if you're going to be traveling, whether it's on the road or on a flight, this is really good to probably put, you know, a majority of your makeup like every day, which you do just to like touch up or have. So this is really good. But I actually received some products in the pink bag right here that did not come in the makeup bag. I think it's because it didn't fit. So I actually got two masks and this is the natural shea butter mask sheet. And I also got the natural avocado mask sheet, which is really, really good because I don't really have like um facial masks and I'm trying to get into um, a skincare right now learning how to do a day and night um skincare regimen and I know doing like a mask sheet just to like hydrate your face or clean your face or like help it with your pores or taking dead skin and stuff like that is really really good and on the back they tell you how to apply it with like the directions and also what it's for you know what's supposed to help you really cool and I also got a brush and this is by Luxie and they do give you a website where you could probably go to purchase more um, brushes like from LuxieBeauty.com and this is a Pro Precision 640 brush. It does not tell me what it's for but I think a regular person if you tell them a Pro Precision they probably know what it's for. I think it might be for like blush or highlighter or contour but it is so soft it's a good floofy brush um it's very nice i like that the handle is pretty thick and it gives you like some information there but i don't know what pro position is for but you probably know but this is a good brush that i got with it for $12, that's not bad. Unfortunately, that I'm aware of, it doesn't give you like a paper um, letting you know how much each item was. And I believe with being a new time user, you get a free product. And of course, this makeup bag is by Ipsy. It has their little logo inside. It is lime green inside. It's a very reasonable size. I feel like all travel size friendly things could probably go in here. Now, 
what I have is a Hana Lee lip balm with Island Mint. It tells me the ingredients that it currently has. It tells me that it has no paraffins, no phosphates, or philophates. It is 0.15 ounces or 4.25 grams. And let me open this. And this is chapstick. I will probably try to get my phone and go through the app just to see if I can find the prices of the products. Um, I do want to say I did go ahead and cancel the subscription because even though there was shipping, I didn't want to take the risk. I got this like way before um, COVID-19 started, but they are still shipping if you want to get Ipsy and subscribe to it just to have, you know, like new makeup. Ooh, it does smell minty, but it's not that bad of a mint. It is really nice and sincere. It's tiny. And let me just, I don't know. Once you start rubbing it on your lips, the smell of mint gets really strong. And it's kind of like um, Vaporoo. You know how when you put it somewhere like on your chest or under your nose and it goes like, like deep in your throat. That's what it kind of feels like. Um, now it does kind of feel a little tingly on my lips. And I think that's just because it's mint and that's what it, it normally is. You know, mint is kind of like. <sighs> kind of feels like a little tingly, but it doesn't feel like it's burning. It just feels kind of cool. Like, you know how if you drank um, NyQuil or DayQuil, you know, like the NyQuil. Um, you drink it and it leaves that cool aspect down your throat, kind of like a little burning sensation, but not a burning sensation. And that's what it kind of feels like. I'm not sure if I'm explaining right, but it does feel like kind of like in my inner lips, like right here, feels that. And I think that's just because that skin doesn't have like hard skin over it. But it feels very nice. It feels very smooth. So that's the fur, like the... That's like the fourth product. I believe Ipsy automatically comes with four or five travel size products. And I think it's because since I was a first time user, or I think they might do this, you know, in every single bag where they give you face sheet masks. But to me, I'm counting those as an individual product. So the lip balm was the fourth one. And the fifth product that I currently have is Bella in Argent Lip Lure. It is a gloss. How to use it, you wear alone or layer over a lip color and you can line your lip to add dimension and it's long lasting. It does give you some information. It has a 12 month shelf life. It tells you where it's from and where it was made and also their website where you can purchase more. And it also gives you the ingredients and the color of Jealous of Us. So I am going to try to open it from the bottom so that way I don't mess up where the name is at. Oh, wow. Okay, it is a simple design, you know, like a regular, um, I guess kind of like drugstore brand would have. It's just like simple. It does not feel like it's glass. I, I kind of feel like it's kind of like those Maybelline's cover girls, you know, lip colors that you normally get from like, um, like Walmart or Walgreens, you know, like the drugstore brands. So as you can see, it's a very just regular one. There's nothing special. Um, I do not know how much this costs. Like I said, I will try to go into my app and see because they normally give you like the value. I think the overall value of the bag itself, like with all products is $50. So you pay 12, but you get $50 worth, I think. So. Okay. I kind of like it. It goes on very smooth. It doesn't feel thick um, or sticky. I'm going to try to put it on my thing 
So that's the color. It looks like it's kind of like a peachy brown kind of tone. It's not that bad. It's very smooth, lightweight. It does give me that kind of shine that I'm seeing in the mirror. It looks very nice. I like it. So that's not bad. So, so far I've gotten two lip. Um, so I've gotten a lip on a lip gloss. The next item that I have is a liquid eyeliner, and this is by Allium Sequoia. And again, it gives you the version. It's the color black with a six months lifespan. Um, it's 1.2 millimeters or 0.04 fluid ounces, and it tells you where it's made. And let me just open this up just to... okay so it is a felt tip um i won't try this on my eyes but i can definitely just watch it right here so it's pretty black you know it's a good you know to get those little squiggly lines so it's not that bad and it's a very small, of course. So this is like a good travel size friendly um, eyeliner. Especially, you know, eyeliners come like a little bit longer. But I think all eyeliners are like travel size friendly. Except if they're too long or something. Of course, they won't fill up in your like mini makeup bag. But this is not that bad. So that is an eye. And this is Polar. Polar Night. Nute Polar. It's a cream. 15 millimeters or 0 0.5 fluid ounces. It gives you um directions. It has a 12 month shelf life. The website where it's made. This is um now the first language on here is French and English is underneath. That is this is supposed to be applied night after night. The skin is smoother and glow. On wakening, its smooth texture rapidly rapidly absorbs and provides a matte finish. Apply in place on a clean and dry skin. So it does come sealed. And it's just white. It's just white. I'm not going to put this on my face. Because I really don't know what it's for. And it does say you're supposed to use it at night. And I don't. Because there are like some night creams that if you put it on during the day, like the sun, uh, the the sunlight or something like that can really damage it. So I'm not going to try this, but it's like a mini night cream. Like I said, it's in French, so I don't really get it. So the translation in English is kind of weird. Um, Again, the ingredients are also in French, so I really don't know what it's made. And it was made in France. So I got two lips, one eye, one face, four little minis in my makeup bag. And like I said, because I think I am a new user, I got these two mask sheet and a brush. This is like about this much of the bag. And you can really stuff this in. Um, you could probably put a little mini palette, some lipsticks, even like a mini foundation or a foundation bottle. I love these bags. And for $12, it's not that bad. Four items in the bag plus these two and the brushes. For $12, I actually like them because I know most face masks, especially the ones I see at Walmart, um, which is like the cheaper alternative, they could probably cost like about 2 to $3.00. And I know like in Walgreens, which is a little bit like not high end, but they sell a little bit more brands that are expensive. Some of these masks could cost like $5. So I do know like if you put $2.50 on each mask, that's like about five bucks. I know most brushes from different brands, even drugstore brands can cost like a couple dollars per brush. So this is probably like a two, three dollars. Um, I don't know if Luxie is a high-end brand or not, but that's like the estimated price I'm going to put on. So with these things alone, it's probably like seven bucks. And the lipsticks, I want to say it wasn't really that worth it because I mean, a lipstick, you could just get it for like a dollar. And the fact that it's mint and it still kind of feels like a little tingly kind of like sensation on my lips is not to the point it's burning me, but... I think that's just how mint is. It's kind of like a menthol feeling. But the fact that it has, you know, chapstick. 
Um, like, I don't know if that's high end. I know like Bird's Bee, like three, four dollars just for a regular tube of chapstick. So I do know some chapsticks can be a little bit more expensive if it's high end or like if it's just like the brands that like big. So I do know that's probably maybe um, two, three dollars. But literally, I do not think that this is a fifty dollar value. Um, to me, Eyeliner is not that expensive. You could probably get an Eyeliner less than $10. Um, of course, depending what brand you get, it will be more expensive. But the lip gloss, really, it felt like a regular drugstore lip gloss. It didn't come into, like, a container. The packaging wasn't weird. It wasn't like, oh, wow, it came, like, in a glass bottle or anything like that. It was literally like a lip gloss you get from a drugstore. It's the basic packaging of a lip gloss and it has simple letters on it there wasn't like a good des like a cool design or a logo on it it was just a simple the name that's it and the cream i don't really speak french i don't how to read french um the directions that it did tell me in english was to apply it at night but it does not tell me what it's for or what it's supposed to do if it's just like a night cream is it a moisturizer or what it is i don't know so i probably would not use it unless i go onto the website and i can find out truly what it's for but like one of those night creams again you can find them in drugstore or even high end like about less than ten dollars but to me the way the products were the packaging and everything like that i don't think this is like a 50 dollars value i think really what was worth the money was the mask and the brushes um i like i said i do like the lip color i like the eyeliner that came with because i don't own eyeliners um the chapstick was really nice and smooth but this is definitely worth 12 dollars. but it does not meet the value of 50 dollars within this bag um really I can't wait to try these out and use them. That's really going to be nice. The lip gloss, um, I'll probably actually do use and the chapstick maybe, but I'm that type of person who has multiple chapsticks because I always lose them or can't find them. But I like the bag. I feel like the bag, the mask, and the brush alone meets the value of $12 that you wasted. But I, like I said, it does not equal a value of 50, but this is really good, I guess, in a sense, if you want to get many products and be able to try them. And if you find a really good brand, you can potentially go into their website and purchase full size bottles. And it's something that you can like try. I like that it came with skincare. To me, it's only worth the $12. It does not meet the value of 50. It's good subscription box, but like I said, I canceled mine because I didn't really want to be receiving it or wasting those $12 on this. The only thing that I do not like is that they don't give you a little pamphlet. I know like with BoxyCharmy, FabFitFun, they give you like a pamphlet telling you how much everything costed, what products that it came for, and like what the value you basically was, and you know, this is the potential. You know, you paid $40, but you got a value of 200 and something. So I do like that, but they didn't give me that. And I don't know how much these products products cost whether they're from a high end or low end um but worth $12 yes definitely for uh, for the whole entire thing would I purchase individually probably not um because I could probably potentially get something of the same or even cheaper on drugstore brand so that's my opinion on this whether or not you would like to try it I would say go for it get it for a month just to see um, I know most of the subscription box, they do like yearly pans, yearly plans and stuff like that. But to be honest, I only recommend getting a month. I have more subscription boxes that I will be reviewing, but only get it for a month. Just see how it is. And then whether or not you want to keep continuing, keep, you know, go ahead and continue. But I would definitely like to try to try Ipsy again. And if you guys would like for me to try it, go ahead and and leave a comment below or where's a subscription box you want me to try or you believe if it's like skincare clothing clothing will be kind of interesting because i have issues trying on the sizes anyways to begin with 
but hair care, makeup, if they're like an expensive box that you would like me to try versus a cheaper box, because this is $12 and that's pretty cheap in my perspective, but is there like a cheaper one or is there like a more expensive one? I know Fat Fit Fun is like the most expensive I've seen for like 50 bucks, but is there one more like high end, low end? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys stay safe, stay indoors, and learn, you know, play a game, learn a new language. I'm currently trying to learn Japanese. You know, I know some greetings. I'm trying to be able to be able to like more or less communicate and ask for directions when I go to Japan soon. So that's going to be nice. So that's really cool do something in your free time try to do a hobby try to do something you always wanted to do and never done you know during these times this is like basically i know a lot of people say they're bored but you have the free time to finally start on a project start on your dream or start on something new that you've always been interested in you know take the opportunity that you have time off school time off work and just have fun with it you know so, so 